Federal banking officials say the new Indy Mac Bank opening this morning is sound following the second biggest bank failure in U.S. history. CBS News correspondent Bill Whitaker joins us from Pasadena, California with more. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. When this bank reopens this morning, it will be in different hands. The FDICs, or the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporations. The federal government wants to calm customers' jittery nerves and convince them that it's business as usual. But as they say, that remains to be seen. The sign on the bank door says it all. The small print reads, closed for business. IndyMac, one of the nation's largest mortgage lenders, was declared unsafe and unsound and taken over by federal regulators. This bank is now being operated by the FDIC. Uh, the FDIC, over the next 90 days or so, will begin to market this bank to try and get it back into private hands. Over the weekend, the ATMs were operating, but the bank was closed, even as its new CEO tried to reassure customers. I want to emphasize that customers should know that their insured money is safe. But that's not the whole story. The FDIC only insures deposits up to $100,000. Anyone with more than that might be in trouble. I'm very angry, very upset about this. I wanted to withdraw my money. Uh, I've got a CD. I've got approximately $100,000. In, uh, in the, the one-time mortgage giant is the latest victim of the mortgage meltdown. A week ago, the lender laid off more than half its employees. By Friday, its stock was virtually worthless. With politicians and bankers pointing fingers, New York Senator Charles Schumer vehemently sure denies that, that a letter he job. wrote pointing out risks at the doing. bank triggered this run and collapse. Everything that was talked about in our letter was already public. So there were no new revelations in our letter at all. The FDIC has been working around the clock trying to find a buyer for this bank. Ominously, the FDIC says it has a list of 90 troubled banks around the country. And believe it or not, the Indy Mac Bank here wasn't even on the list. Jeff? Mm, Bill Whitaker in Pasadena, California. Bill, thank you.